Getting the free weapon upgrade. Cool. Butchery and quick God fearing. Yours for the taking. All right. Strip those off. I would like to go do uh, cannon. Really want the fly Jones color. It's a fucking useless item. But Starfucker's over here. I would like the quirks off Starfucker. But the things that beat him are not the things that beat the cannon. Things that beat him are bleeds and blights and anti protection. And the things that beat uh, the cannon are consistent damage to all ranks. Could pick up like an eighth focus ring, go kill the necromancer lord, it's not bad. It's probably better than anything else we're getting. Alright, Necro Lord. I don't remember what the Prophet's item is, but I think to remember the Prophet's eye not being terrible. I don't remember exactly what it does. Yeah. Go shield bearer. I mean men at arms. Would you run a dungeon just to remove a trinket from the pool? Um only certain trinkets yes i would you're talking ancestor trinkets yep i would kind of want this item i don't really need more focus rings it's seven right now an eighth is good but it's not like super exciting it's pretty exciting what am i talking about it's the most exciting thing that's happened all day Daredevil Early Riser. It's very nice. Who is that? It's you. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. God, this is our like highest damage arbalist yet, because there's one one damage item. I think our other Arbalists are better than that. Yeah. Okay. Prophet's Eye, 15 accuracy, my plus 3 speed. Yeah, it's pretty good. Too. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go get the Necromancer out of the way so we can go kill the Prophet and collect all the rest of the gears. It is kind of cool, too, because these, these items are so pointless. Because you always finish the game before getting them, because there's no reason to risk uh, high-level characters in level five dungeons. So it's kind of cool that we actually get to play with these items. So let's go. Let's go to the prophet. Um, do we do we hew the pews, or do we treat this fight like a real fight? I think we might treat it like it's a real fight. Uh, let's take a look at our level. Who do we have? Do we have people waiting to be? Yeah, we got fives waiting to be better. Uh, our list is all right in this fight. Thick blooded's good versus that. And mankind, he's not mankind, he's undead. But they got other perks there. Zylo should be fine. Um, let's bring a healer. Yep, fast rick needs to level. It's Necromancer, not Prophet. Oh, fair point. Which is still undead, but thanks. Um, I want to bring. you and I need a position two stress healer that hits back ranks that doesn't exist could use the this guy as a stunner bring a jester jester doesn't hit position four either uh you hit position four randomly don't you but you don't play well with uh the hellion Awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Do you have any moves that move you back that do anything? Nope. 
Uh, what about a highwayman? We have, can we bring an underleveled character to this dungeon with no stress healer? It sounds terrible. Do I bring an overleveled character? I bring an overleveled hound. Gets us our mark combo a little bit on the profit too. And a guard. Um although I prefer Man at Arms guard for that. What if I brought could could this be the mythical man at arms position four position position four fight? Yes. Except I kind of never want to... Oh, it's range skills. Yeah, okay, we can bring him. Alright, so we run this. Until we get... Oh, that's not a position 3 stunner. <sighs> I mean, I guess we can just get some extra stress. We can bring this thing. And in the meantime, that, that, and this. Oh, but that means she's in position two during that fight. I don't know about that. I don't know about position two during this fight. Speed, accuracy, damage, and more speed. Uh, dodge, speed, accuracy, crit. I don't think so. I could highwayman it. Doesn't give us a stunner though. That hell, Master. All right. I'm a bit worried about the damage she's gonna put out. The profit that is. Okay. Let's do that. I might regret these items, we'll see. We need to make sure everybody's leveled, then sanitize, and then go. Uh, puncture, reveal, sway. I think I'm bringing fucking rallying flare. Alright, what's going on in sanitization land? Uh, God fearing is alright. That's alright, and the guy's still leveling. Need to get rid of spotted fever. And decisions, decisions, decisions about this musketeer. I was really hoping for a damage perk. This is kind of a damage perk. She gets four already, so she's getting plus nine. We gotta hit 25. What do my level fives have accuracy-wise? Accuracy, they're coming in at 115. So we only actually need 10. Not even 10. We need at 125, we're at 100. You can go five lower than 100, right? Because it's 95 to be 100. 
Does that actually mean that accuracy buff is enough? If I lock that in to run double damage items? What? Okay, enemies have up to, I think, 25 dodge when they're not a special type, and they can go higher. Any of the special types go to 35. So, 35 minus... Um, so, with 35 dodge here, but we're not we're really aiming for 25 dodge, which hits everything, which puts that at 90% accuracy, right? And another 4 from the accuracy mod puts us at 94, and then any accuracy quirk would put us over 100. Or it would put us at nine, over 95, and 95 in this game is equal to 100. So, yeah. I think that means that's a decent quirk to lock in. Just feels wrong. Who's that on? Fabrician, right? Okay. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Let's pretend it is. Let's pretend it is so I can look good later when I when it is. I'll be like, yeah. That gets us that extra damage mod. It's as good as locking in 20% damage. Okay. Alright. Uh, other than that, we have items. We have people being sanitized. I don't know if we have gear. Did we do gear? Yeah, we did gear. I remember paying for it. So, we know who we're killing. I don't know why we're killing him. But other than that, we're pretty good. Um, skills. What do I want here? I want Bola. She has a way of unrevealing people, right? Let's not run Mark till we get there, though. Let's run this. Uh, you're going to run Stun to begin with. I don't mind having Cry Havoc on the bar, just in case. It gets us in positions where we can stress heal once or twice. Okay. Yep, I can remove positive quirks too. It's true. Alright, some of those, some of those, some of those, some of those. A couple of those for the profit. And some of those. Alright. Food, keys, torches, go. I brought my colleagues back with much of their intellect intact. A remarkable triumph for even the most experienced necromancer. Freed from the trappings of their humanity, they plied their terrible trade anew. The dead reviving the dead on and on down the years. I call that efficiency. That's what Forever. I call that. They've got a system in place. They're going to work it. Work it to its a max. walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. We're a little squishy, this comp. Squishy, squishy, squishy versus the prophet. I regret a little. Masterfully executed. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. It's necromancer, not profit. I just set up a fight to fight the profit. Awkward. I think it should be fine versus necromancer. Necromancer is the easiest boss in the game, but I just set up a fight to fight the profit. <laughs> Okay. Yourself that nice. That talk of the prophet's eye really threw me, didn't it? Like, I think I was corrected at least twice that, uh, uh, that this was the, the necro. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We just killed the necro. I wouldn't have brought the healing item on him. I would have brought a stun item. Stunning the necro on round one is like the greatest thing ever. We're testing our profit setup. See uh, how squishy it feels. As the 
fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Coolest animation, I think. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I need two biscuits. I don't need two. Well. The ground quakes. <laughs> oh, man. All right. A devastating blow. Slap are good and endless. Yep. Pretty solid. I don't know, I haven't counted the hag yet with that comp. They added the hag to endless mode. I'll be curious to see if it totally bones that comp or not, or if you can kill the hag without a, without a leper, or rather with a leper. that for the profit it's not in this mission it turns out because it's slightly awkward well that's all right if only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption scout things nice the match is struck a blazing star is born there's a jute tapestry in that, uh, in that highlight. That was a highlight torch with a jute tapestry in it. Okay, sure. Shield breaker is better than the leper. I think you're on some sort of drug. We'll see if the shield breaker is any good or not. I suspect there's not enough situations where her armor piercing is preferential to the damage the other one brings, but maybe. Uh, I have been fairly pleasantly surprised by how well she's been doing. Oh yeah, and this is my first level 5 nightmare too on this fight. It's an interesting point I had forgotten. A singular strike. like the recovery around there but sure holy shit these nightmarish creatures can be felled they can be beaten uh problem is can we fit them in our inventory it's not felling them or beating them so how do we get these nightmare creatures inside so i could burn off gambler which makes no difference to anything well it's not true will only gamble is actually kind of not a great one so I would like to burn that off. I would like these, but I'm not gonna get them. There's no way I stack anything in this dungeon.
decimated. Obliterated. No the way anything victory. gets stacked in this dungeon. A victory, nonetheless. I can get rid of the holy water now. Don't need it for anything else. It was there to help me resist the prophet's blights. Who isn't in this mission, so awkward. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Bubbles and bubbles. Paid for in blood. Uh, I'm a bit worried that I kind of want to do her fight before I encounter the prophet. Maybe, I, maybe after, or the uh, mecha rather. That might be the way to do it. Necro causes a fair amount of stress, though. group heal. A decisive pummeling. A powerful blow. She does seem to be doing a fuck ton of damage. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay. The twisted faces of the damned, piled high and cloaked in malice. You know the drill. You stand here and get wrecked. Compassion that is the is drill. In the it's your job. Of collector he's like Santa Claus Just shows up with loot for all the kids all the boys and girls success good gems okay um, oh. all of these getting rid of are bad half the camp because I have to trigger her event I want this for the boss fight I need food to get there I need torches to fight it uh, there could be a blockage. The only one that I can get rid of is the key. And the key unlocks more. I guess it is probably the key. Still feels bad. I'm guaranteed to get a secret secret room now. A fortune waiting to be spent. Why did I bring so few torches? Because I wasn't expecting this dungeon to be this long. Alright. I 
you might be exaggerating about to break. We got it. I think we're fine. Ghoulish horrors brought low and hey, I can't bring mud. any of this back, so rip. We're not coming back here. This is this a stress heal? I can't remember if it's also a regular heal. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Why am I opening things? I literally can't improve my inventory. I should stop opening things in case I ever want to come back. I don't ever want to come back, but if I did. Okay. Torch list for the rest of the run. It will be until I get to the that room. Yep. Has to be. I'm not coming back here, right? Let's just get a scout ping. There's the blockage. Bone bearer! the wrong one. Should have killed the other one. I could have stunned that guy and healed. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay. Guess I could go fight him at 75% light. And then rest and then do her interaction. May indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a yeah, I don't need gold. those anymore. Okay, uh, so how do we want to do this? We want to have those is fine. That's not going to help you here. That might. That looks good. That looks good. Uh, No camping. We have camp after. Towering. I think her dream is more of a threat than this thing. It's a hard one, for sure. I'll uh, get rid of the shovels. Take this and that. Close this out. Nope. Continue adventuring. Camp. Max stress heal. It's a goal without hope. Alright, uh, what do we have? Nighttime ambush is a thing. Restring crossbow and marching plan are both things. The six. They all have protection, right? I can't remember if they do or not. I think they do. Nine. Maybe we don't restring. Okay. 
Oh, next time ambush won't do anything. Right. Fuck that. I always forget that. Even when I'm planning, I'm literally planning for the nighttime ambush fight. That's what I just set up for. And I still just, just removed ambush chance. That's hilarious. It's hilarious how bad that is. It's fine. Still can't prevent this. We haven't been crit once. We can't prevent anywhere near the stress. The stress comes up so fast. Also, I'm forgetting to use the dog street. Misplays for days. It's all because of that prophet. He's been the biggest pain in the ass on this mission. Value dog treat. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay. Obsidian dagger. 40% debuff skill chance, 40% blight skill chance. She has a blight? A kind gesture. Thank you, Viewbot. 201 for the donation. What is her blight? She has Adder's Kiss. This is fucking bad. Impale has a blight too. Is this worth anything? Debuff skill? I mean, this does debuff. I guess I need to pay attention if that can be used versus non-stealth guys to minus speed debuffs. Does extra damage to Mark too. She could be running a Mark group too. She has a lot of bizarre ass skills. Such a burden of finery risks life and limb. Alright, cool. Let's go home. Fucking profit. What an ass. Ooh, slugger. Wow. Wow. Okay. Obsession caused this great foulness. Prismatic force. 